Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is another video on the property of systems. And here we'll be discussing linearity property with the help of about eight examples. And I'll have the timestamp uh, at the bottom. So if you want to skip a particular portion, uh, you can do that. Okay, a linear system is a system that possesses the property of superposition. And actually, when we are talking of superposition, we are talking of two properties. One is called the additive property, and the second is called the scaling property. So let's see from here. If this is the signal, if we have a system which has two inputs, then we can find the result, and we need to find the voltage across this. We can find this voltage by using one source at a time. Using this source, we find voltage. Then using the second source, we find voltage. And the sum of the two will give the total voltage. So this is the concept we'll be using. But this is the additive property. In scaling property, actually, we multiply this by some value, maybe 2, 5, 10. Here we are using A, and this is B. Same thing exactly, that first of all, we take the first source and then the second source and adding the two will get the total result. So if we have a system with input x1, then output will be y1t. Similarly, if it is input is x2, then y output will be y2t. And if we scale this, that is multiply this by A and this by B, then the output also will be multiplied by A and B. So this is scaling. Now, if we have another input X, the X3T, then obviously output will be Y3T. But here X3T is actually given by this. Let x3 be a linear combination of x1 and xt. So x3t is actually a times x1t plus b times x2t. So we are actually using this one. And if, if this is the input, then the output will be what? It should be the sum of this and this. So sum of this output plus this output. So that is what we have to prove. Okay, take the first example A. We can directly write X1T and X2T. We're changing uh, all into Y1 and X1 terms here. Just come, come, copy this. Similarly, it will be X2 with X2T and uh, here also X2T, T minus 2 and 2 minus T. And then we are inputting the third source, which is a combination, X3, and we say that the output will be Y3. And Y3 will be from just following this, it should be X3 T minus 2 plus X3 2 minus T. Now, if the input is different, if the input is like it's a combination, then what will happen? And to, to find this answer, we just need to simply do these one at a time. So if x3, x3, t, here yeah, we'll write it that replace t by t minus 2. Compare these two. x3, t, x3, t minus 2. So in this whole equation, we'll replace t by t minus 2. So for the first part, we'll get this answer. Similarly, for the second part, we replace t by 2 minus t t by 2 minus t. So replacing t by 2 minus t, we'll get another set of values. So this is the total value. Now, as we have mentioned, that for this to be linear, our condition for linearity is that the output y3 should be equal to a y 1t plus b y 2t. And this is what we have to prove from here. So let's take A terms uh, on one side, so this and this. Similarly, B, B terms, taking common A and B, common A and B. Now, if you look carefully, what is this term? 
compare with this this is y1t and similarly this term is y2t and therefore from here we can write it as a y1 t plus b y2 t and this is what we are looking for uh, for the condition of linearity that means our circuit is or the system is linear part b exactly same technique x1 t and y x2 t defined from here changing this to x1 t this to x2 t x3 again will result in y3 and y3 from here we can write directly the so cos 3t and x3t now what is x3t as we had discussed earlier also x3t is ax1t plus bx2t so we'll replace x3t by this value condition same we have to prove this one so replacing x3t by this value and then uh, opening the terms this will be one term this is the second term now this is a multiplied by what is this term if you see from here this is y1t similarly this term is y2t so we'll write this that a y1t plus b y2t and this is what we are looking for the condition of linearity and therefore we'll say that the system is linear now since most examples uh, or all of the examples were actually linear so I, I picked another example which is not linear and let's see how it is not linear same technique find x uh, for x1 t and x2 t we get this equation, but this is a square term. X3t will result in y3t, and y3t will be x3t square. For our input, this one, so we'll take, this is our x3, so we'll take square of this. This is the condition that we have to prove. We're taking square of x3t and simplifying opening further simplifying now if you look carefully what is this term a square x1 square t x1 square t is y1 b square is y2 t and this is remains same but this is not same as what we are looking for and therefore, the system is not linear, not equal to a y1 plus b1 y2. Therefore, the system is not linear. Okay. All other examples are linear. We'll just follow the same technique. And I hope you can pause the video and see all the steps. I'll go over quickly. X3t this will be in terms of x3 now for remember there is a, a tau here so this is our input we'll convert this for tau and put it in here this is the condition that we have to prove okay so a times x1 tau plus b times x2 tau dt separating at this term now the first term is actually y1 t and the second terms is b terms y2 t so this is equal to a y1 t plus b y2 t and this is what we are looking therefore the system is linear next is part d same technique this is x3 now since the first part is 0 we'll just follow and take the second part for t greater than 0 this is our input and the condition remains same 
For sake of simplicity, let's not write zero in every step. So we are just ignoring this step. And this I am just read, uh, spread it so we can easily put the values. Now x3t from here exactly same value. But this part is t shifted by t minus 2. So we get this for the first part. And this is for the second part t shifted by t minus 2. Here also we will collect the like terms with A and B is taking common. Now this part as you can see as x1t. So this part is sorry y1t. This is y1t. This is y1t and similarly this part is y2t and therefore our system is linear because the answer is we want. Part D, same question except for the uh, uh, here the condition instead of T is XT, but will not have an effect on our uh, checking the uh, for linearity part. 3T, putting the value for uh, y3t just like this, changing. This is our input. We'll just replace as we did in the previous slide. This is what is the condition we want. For the sake of simplicity, we'll ignore zero. So this will be our two parts and putting the value of x3t here and in the second part we just change t by t minus 2 and simplifying we get up to here taking common the a terms and the b terms and this we can see is y1t and this is y2t. And so the answer is what we want. And therefore, the system is linear. Finally, uh, F, not finally, there is one more. Again, here we are following the same technique. Now, the input and what we want is, this is what we want. So we just plug in the value of xt, changing t by t by 3 in this. So changing t by t by 3. And this if you see is y1, so it is ay1, this is y2, so by 2 and this is what we are looking for, as the system is linear. And finally, there is a dx dt term, but we'll follow the same technique. y1, y2 we found, and for x3 we find y3, y3 will be, just plug in here this, x2 replaced by x3, so this is uh, y3, input, same input, Desired output AYT BY1T plus BY2T. Here we replace X3 by this value. So replacing, separating the terms, and this one is actually A DX1T from here is Y1T, and this is Y2T. So AY1T plus BY1T y2t and this is what we are looking hence the system is linear so i hope uh, you have got a fairly good idea and you can solve any problem uh, with the linearity question thank you